58.78 from Loudon Valley, Colton Bugucky. Fourth place, eight minutes 58.33 from Northport, Isaiah Claiborne. Third, eight minutes 56.59. The girls are on the line. Wyndham, they take their marks. There's the gun. All right, this should be a good one here. Your first seed is Caitlin Tui from North Rockland. Second, Kelsey Camille from Saratoga Springs. Elizabeth Stockman from Rocky Hill is seated third. Dana Lynch from Middletown seated fourth. Hannah Skupanski from Oakland Catholic seated fifth. Roshni Singh from Bayshore seated sixth. Jenna Schultz from Liverpool seated seventh. Ella Curto from Saratoga Springs seated eighth. And ninth seed, Megan McLaughlin from East Aurora. Now on the track, the feature we should have a, uh, a good race here. It's probably the, the, the race Aurora, of the night. Megan McLaughlin from Saratoga Springs. Ella Curto from Liverpool. Jenna Scholes. The 2018 Section 11 champion from Bayshore, Roshni Singh. From Oakland Catholic, Hannah Schapansky. The 2018 Section 9 champion from Middletown, Dana Lynch. The 2018 Connecticut State champion from Rocky Hill, Connecticut, Elizabeth Stockman. She is the defending Laux Games champion from Saratoga Springs, Kelsey Camille. And number one on the line from North Rockland, the Nat High School Cross Champ, Cross Country Champion, Caitlin Tui. And Caitlin Tui is in the lead. All right, this should be a good matchup here between Tui. Caitlin Tui and Kelsey Camille. Tui, after 600 meters, has already opened up a 20 meter gap ahead she, of Camille. She went out in a 70. We mentioned before that some people have the tactic of wading back and kicking. Caitlin does not. She goes out hard not the case. and fast. And usually she holds on to it. But we now have probably the best race you might see between her and Camille. This could be the race of the meet here. Meet record, 956, set in 2011. Ashlyn Cuff from Cornwall. Kelsey so Camille. that's definitely in danger. Camille, as you heard the home announcer mention, won the last two years in a row in this event. Last year she just dipped under 10. She ran 9.59. Caitlin Tui split 9.54 on her way to the 5K indoor national record. So they're definitely poised to uh, make a big splash tonight. Tui has opened up a huge lead. It's about 40 meters at this point. Kelsey Camille, 40 meters ahead of the next runner. And they're cooking. They're flying out here. They Just watching this, you would have thought she's in a sprint race the way she mo she's moving at this point. And she still has most of the race to go. Yeah, she's coming up to three laps in, and she's already opened up a huge lead. She looks comfortable. Camille as well. Five to go. Caitlin came through at around 3.33. Camille comes through at 3.44. There's 11 seconds between Caitlin Tui and Kelsey Camille. And about 10 between Camille and the girls in third and fourth. Tui opening up that lead. And your third and fourth place runners right now are Dana Lynch from Middletown and Hannah Skupanski from Oakland Catholic. They're leading the chase group over 100 meters behind Caitlin Tui and 60 meters behind Kelsey Camille. Half 
Caitlin Tui comes through lap four at 4.45. Ooh, 445. She's flying now. She's got 90 meters on Kelsey Can Camille. Can she keep this up? It's what was the meet record again? 956. 956. She's on pace to beat that right now. Kelsey from Saratoga in second. A battle for third place. Tui out on her own. In first place, Camille also out on her own in second. Three laps to go for Caitlin Tui. Kelsey Camille coming up on that. Kelsey Camille is also sporting a great time in second. Tui, over 100 meters ahead of Camille now. Two and a half laps to go. Lynch and Scoopancy still in third and fourth place. Caitlin Tui on pace to break the meet record. She's on pace to break the state record. She looks like if she keeps this pace up, she'll be well under the state record, even converted from two miles. Six hundred meters to go. Camille in second place. Stockman of Rocky Hill in third. So the national record, nine forty-eight, set in nineteen ninety-six by Kim Mortensen from California. And I'd say Caitlin Tui. Danger. Caitlin Tui is possibly going to beat that. She came She's through with one lap, lap at 8:32. With one Ooh. lap to let's go. see. Let's see. We could see a new net. We could see a new every record, record right now. And she's got a 150 meter lead here. Yeah. And she's not slowing down. 300 meters to go down the back straightaway. Caitlin Tui. Tui coming up on 200 left. 200 to go for Caitlin Nine, nine minutes, 12 seconds. 200 meters to go. Can she break the national record? 948 national record. She surely got the meet record, state record, and national record in jeopardy right now. Down the straightaway, Caitlin Tui. You're watching it here. Caitlin Tui going for the national record. She's at 940. 
945, Will she break 946, it? 947. I think she got it. Let's get an official time. 947, 88. I think that does it. That's that's good for first in the nation in the nation. All national time record. All time best time. Let's see, we'll get official confirmation on that. But I believe that's a national record. That is a national record. That is a national record. She broke it. There's your runner up. I believe even converted to two mile, I still think that's the national record. Big run by Caitlin Tui. The biggest run by Caitlin Tui. Camille comes through in 1027. Stockman in 10:32, and Lynch, Lynch in 10:40. Wow, we just witnessed history. We did. Congratulations to Caitlin. Fantastic for performance from her. And as this last runner comes through, we'll be wrapping up our broadcast here from the 51st annual Glen D. Laux Games. This is day two. We'll be back for day three tomorrow at 9 a.m. for our first event. We'll see you tomorrow.